What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and once again Zack Snyder is blowing up the internet with just one picture because of course it's related to the Snyder Cut, it's related to Zack Snyder's Justice League and the Green Lantern scene that Warner Brothers cut out of this movie that they would not let Zack Snyder put in the final version. Instead, it was Martian Manhunter at the end of the movie. It was originally supposed to be Jon Stewart's Green Lantern and very soon after the release of this movie, Zack Snyder came out and said just that and then he revealed the actor who was supposed to play it Wayne T. Carr he said he filmed it in his driveway and sure enough look at what he dropped just a few hours ago on Vero driveway productions and indeed you can see Wayne T. Carr standing in Zack Snyder's driveway in front of a green screen with a bunch of the uh, with a bunch of the digital stuff on him ready for the suit to be CGI'd onto him we have not yet seen the post-production, what it would have looked like with it all done, with the CGI done, but this is the first glimpse we're actually getting of what this scene looked like when they filmed it. And it wasn't only Zack Snyder that got into it, it was Wayne T. Carr as well. Grateful, stretching between takes, hashtag driveway studios, hashtag restore the Snyderverse. And a lot of people are talking about the fade, the hair, and how on point it looks from so many iterations that we've seen of John. Stewart. And that is cause release the Green Lantern scene to trend. You have so many people out there that were big fans of the Snyder Cut, big fans of Zack Snyder's Just League, want them to restore the Snyderverse. Well, now throw another hashtag in there. Hashtag release the Green Lantern scene. And in fact, it is trending right now. When you go to that hashtag, you can see he's perfect. Look at him. And uh, people are pointing to the very, very close similarities, even in the hair with that fade from, you know, Justice League or Justice League Unlimited, which is one of everyone's favorite cartoons iterations of Justice League. It definitely seems like Wayne T. Carr was the right dude for this. Uh, Zack Snyder reveals the home setup for John Stewart scene with Wayne T. Carr. Hashtag release the Green Lantern scene. And it is in fact trending. I assume it's going to pick up a lot of steam over the next few hours. You have the perfect John Stewart fade, sir. Yes, he does. Anyways, hashtag release the Green Lantern scene. It's crazy to think about that he filmed this thing. This is the same way that he filmed Martian Manhunter 2. Was in his driveway with Harry Lennox. Um, and when you look at the comments of Vero, there's something very interesting in there that actually Lightcast put this out. Warner Brothers clearly doesn't care about their fan base. They care more about their own profits and accolades. Zack Snyder will do amazing on HBO Max and Netflix, seeing that Zack Snyder's Just League is a massive hit that Warner Brothers tries to hide and Army of the Dead is around the corner. And when you look at that, when you look at the comments, you see someone saying, thank you, sir, for everything. Warner Brothers does not deserve you at all. Zack Snyder says, nor want me. Um, so that is a little bit of honesty there from Zack saying that it's clear these people at Warner Brothers just do not want anything to do with him or his movies. They want to forget about it. I don't think fans are going to let that happen. People want to see what this scene would have been. They want to know what Wayne T. Carr said, how he sounded, what he looked like with this finished production in Zack Snyder's Justice League. This first time getting that Jon Stewart on screen would have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, what do you guys think about this? What do you think about the driveway productions? How do you think Wayne T. Carr looks? Do you want to see the Green Lantern scene? Should somebody just drop it? Should somebody just say, you know, fuck it, we're just going to drop it anyway? I think we're getting pretty close to that point, but only time will tell. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.